I think the first and foremost surprising fact is that authenticity is often more important than visual and audio production value. And what I mean by that is the YouTube community and really the internet community at large demand a level of genuineness and authenticity far above anything that's sort of artificial or plastic, right? Just because it's more honest, it's more relatable, uh, and it's something that they often enjoy more. So I think that's probably first. The second I think that people find interesting is there are some people that misperceive that you have to create a 30-second, three-minute video in order to be successful successful online. And our data shows that that's actually not the case. Uh, in fact, a third of our total viewership actually comes from videos that are over 20 minutes long, which is effectively a canonical TV show length. Right. Uh, moreover, nearly half of our total viewership comes from videos that are almost 10 minutes long. So again, this is longer form content that's thri excuse me, thriving on the platform. Um, the final thing I would say is we often hear from different people, well, what kind of content do I make? I may not have production resources to create something that's really flashy, but I also don't want to create something that looks like my mother made it in her bedroom, right? So is there an in-between? Do I go which side? And the reality is we found that all the above are really critical to the success of a content creator. People want something highly produced, something very informative, but they also want something highly relatable and therefore informative. Um, keywords are the bread and butter of the internet, effectively. They are how we find things as you know, they are how things get discovered, so forth and so on. Uh, keywords are really important to choose deliberately. Uh, I would say be very, very, very specific. The more specific, the better. I often see people make the mistake of casting a wide, wide net. And while that sometimes works, it's more important to be precise than broad. Uh, I would say the second thing is it's important to not just use your keywords in the keyword section. It's really critical to use keywords in the title, the description, and so forth. This is how you get more discovered on search engines, which are one of the primary mechanisms through which people discover content, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I would also say that YouTube provides a host of different resources for people to improve their discovery and improve their audience engagement. Uh, one of my favorites is called The Playbook. The Playbook that we created, which you can find at youtube.com slash playbook, spelled regularly, uh, is effectively the definitive guide to channel growth on YouTube uh, or optimization tips. And in there, you can find a host of different uh, ideas, whether it's keyword based or sort of just programming based uh, to build a successful channel. We also have a host of different resources for people that are trying to build their brands or get access to customers. So you can find all of those at youtube.com slash ads as well.